Middle Georgia Pride, Byron. For more than 100 years, a building on the corner of Main Street and Heritage Boulevard has been a staple in historic Byron. It's changed hands several times, but it still remains one of the town's most memorable places. 41 NBC's Ashley Minnelli takes us to the drugstore deli, Byron's local notable. I was a, I, I was a teenager then. <laughs> For Lillian Williams, seeing her picture on the wall of the drugstore deli not only brings back memories of her time working here, but it reminds her that without this store, her life would be a whole lot different. Oh, I met my husband here. <laughs> and uh, we, he used to come. He was a friend of one of the druggists. That's one reason Miss Sarah Jo McLean chose this spot to open her restaurant. She's bringing Byron's history to the present. Old drug store, the drugstore. Oh, I came here as a kid. I always came to the drugstore, and I thought, why fight that battle? Just name it the drugstore and be done with it. So I did. A lot has changed since the drugstore first opened in 1910, but memories keep the history alive in this cornerstone of town. Mayor's brother used to be a soda jerk that was just cracked us up. He came in one day for a meeting and lunch, and he said, I used to be a soda jerk. And I said, well, the position is still open. And he said, no, 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 not anymore. <laughs> So if there's some, every time somebody comes through the door, there's a little bit of history added to it. It may be out of service for right now, but ask anyone who used to work at the drugstore, and they'll tell you that this soda fountain was a town favorite. And it wasn't the only perk for residents of Byron. The drugstore, which is probably a lot goes on here too, the drugstore, whether people needed drugs or prescriptions or anything else, they came in here for the daily gossip. Local business owner Christina Forbes says that's not why she comes to the drugstore deli on a weekly basis. She says the fresh food that her grandparents grew up with is what Sarah Jo serves her customers. Here at the deli, they give that a twist and make things a little more interesting so the younger generation actually, it, you know, attunes to their tastes and their palates. And Sarah Jo says she hopes the drugstore deli will continue feeding the Byron community for years to come. In Byron, Ashley Minnelli for 41 NBC News. Ms. McLean is proud to announce that the drugstore deli received 100% during a recent health inspection. She hopes to keep locals satisfied with her fresh products and bring history buffs into her store for a little taste of the past.